Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a chess miniature played by American chess player George Koltanovsky. Koltanovsky was particularly strong in blindfold chess and in 1937 he even set a world record by playing 34 chess games simultaneously in Edinburgh. This was a chess simul played in 1938 and the name of his opponent is unknown. But before starting our game, make sure that you are subscribed in order not to miss my future uploads. And now without further ado, let's get started with this game and see what happened on the board. Koltanovsky opened up with e4 and black responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we have the Italian game and knight f6, black is choosing two knights defense, with this move black is like inviting white to play knight g5 and target the pawn on f7, but instead Koltanovsky castled kingside bishop c5 and we have a very aggressive move by white d4. This is Deutz Gambit, where white is sacrificing a pawn in order to rapidly develop his pieces and launch an attack. Here we have bishop takes d4, knight takes d4, knight takes d4 and f4. With this move white wants to capture on e5 and open up the f file. In here the best move for black is considered to be d6, but in our game black moved back his knight on c6 in order to answer f takes e5 with knight takes e5, but it turns out that knight c6 is a terrible blunder and there it goes, we have a nice tactical shot by Koltanovsky, bishop takes f7. With this move white is forcing black king to move, after which black king becomes an easy target. King takes f7, black accepted the peace sacrifice and we have f takes e5. We have a nasty pin, white wants to capture on f6. And instead of knight takes e5, black actually played knight e7, which looks dubious. Instead it was better to go for knight takes e5 and allow this queen d5 check. Though in this case still, white has a huge advantage, but this is a more preferable choice than knight e7. Here comes e takes f6, g takes f6, bishop g5. White is intensifying the pressure on f6 and also at any moment the queen can join the attack, knight g8, this time we have e5, all the time white is putting more pressure on f6, h5, black pawn is occupying the h5 square, not allowing any queen h5 checks, but black had another weakness, the d5 square is also weak, and this time we have queen d5 check, king f8, bishop takes f6, white is simply dominating the position, and Victory is just a matter of moves, knight takes f6, rook takes f6, well in here by giving up the queen black could prolong his resistance but instead played king g7 and got checkmate hit after queen f7. This was a catastrophe in the opening and this is why you should explore the openings carefully and always think about the safety of your king first. Well, in the end let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning move for black. It's black to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.